Hi there, good morning and welcome to today's Quentin Carpenter Nature of Flowers Photoshop tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to make this really popular low poly effect portrait. So you can see it is a picture of me and it is covered in about 100 triangles, all different colours. And I'm going to talk you through how to make one of these to show you all the different steps you need to make. Okay, to do this you can see we'll need a portrait and we will need to use a couple of the tools from the toolbar. So if we go over to our portrait, here's the photograph. We will then need to use the polygon lasso tool, which is located underneath the lasso tool. We will also need to use the eyedropper, and we'll also need to use the paint bucket, which is located beneath the gradient tool. So the first thing we're going to need to do is, I find it easier if, if you zoom in, so we're going to go view and zoom in, and then we're going to draw a triangle like so, with our lasso tool. Now we need to make sure we get back to the beginning with the triangle so that we get this flashing line. Once we've done that, we're going to use the eyedropper tool, which is going to select colors from the image. So we're going to click on the color in the middle of the sample, and you'll see the color comes up down here. We're going to use the paint bucket, and then we're going to make sure we're on a brand new level, or layer, sorry, and we're going to fill in that area. Then we're going to repeat the process. We're going to get the la magnetic, the polygon lasso tool, draw another triangle. And we'll use the eyedropper again. And then we're going to use the paint bucket to fill it. And then we're going to use the polygon lasso tool again to draw a triangle. And then we're going to use the eyedropper and then we're going to use the paint bucket and you can see that we're going to repeat this over and over again to create our image i'll do a few more just to show you we are looking for different areas to select that work if we go wrong and we're not happy with it and it doesn't work how we want it we press ctrl d and then we can start again and do one where we want it to go, like so. And then we use the eyedropper, click in the area, and then use the paint bucket to fill it. Okay. And you can see the best way of doing this is to just use triangles. If you start using random shapes, you'll end up with a, a weird looking image. So just use triangles in your design. And you can see we've put some more here. Now, what this will look like, I'll show you what I have done earlier. If I go to the bottom, you can see that I've finished this eye with the different shapes. And then I've moved around, I've done the other eye with some more shapes, the same. And you can see just using that polygon lasso tool and selecting the areas. And I've looked at the nose. The nose is quite tricky because there's obviously lots of different shades of light on it. So I'm trying to make sure I've got the exact shape of my interesting looking nose. Then I went for the forehead and again, different shapes to try and pick up where the light is catching it. So you've got different shapes and angles. And I did the other half of the forehead and you can see this brings in lots of shadows. You can see if you have a high contrast picture, there's always going to be these different shapes and colors in it. Next up, we did the eyebrows, and you can see I tried to keep them quite angular. Then we added in the ears, and again, trying to keep it quite simple and low poly. We then added the cheeks. The moustache, the beard. Then it came to the neck. So if I zoom out slightly, you can see what was going on. And then we added the t-shirt. And then the mouth. And finally, we added in the eyes. Now, once we've got this effect, we can either get rid of the main photo behind, so you can have it looking like so. You could add a black background in behind it. So if I drag this to the bottom, 
and we go to our paint bucket and we add a black background and you can see we have a really effective looking image there or you can do it where you have all the triangles that meet exactly so there's no lines in between them which is another way of doing it personally i prefer it with the original photo behind it so it has that extra level of depth but it's up to you which way you want to do it or you could even have it with a lighter background so have a think about how you present it and there is the low poly effect portrait hope you've enjoyed watching this tutorial if you have obviously pop along to the channel and um there are lots and lots of playlists in particular there are playlists all about photoshop tutorials and you'll see on this that there are lots of different tutorials with lots of different techniques for you to explore and experiment with in your photoshop learning okay i hope you've enjoyed watching it as i say and um have fun making your own poly portraits low poly portraits okay Thank you for watching and goodbye.